Hello, hello, and happy Sunday. I am still struggling to finish the video from Friday, and I'm already feeling so bad for not putting the video up. But one thing that I'm kind of proud of myself is that I've been really good at remembering to record everything that I'm doing during the day. And that actually helps me to be in the habit of recording or trying to compose a frame or oh, where should I put the camera so that I can shoot this moment nicely and stuff like that. One of the things that have been delaying me to post the vlog is actually because I still want to have that creative and aesthetically pleasing looking aspects in the vlogs which makes it a lot longer for me to produce but I don't know what do you guys think do you think for this project I should just try to upload every single day but ditch the creative or the aesthetically pleasing factor or do you think that I should still keep the aesthetic or the creative part of the vlog but not posting every single day I'll still record every single day but I'm just not going to post it every single day yeah tell me what you guys think I just explored the video and I'm going to upload the first video today. Last night I ended the day with a really bad migraine and I couldn't really pinpoint why but this morning I just realized that yesterday I didn't have coffee at all. Today I didn't wake up with the migraine actually but right now I can feel a slight tingle. It's kind of like a warning so I think it's best for me to just drink a coffee. Let's put you in. Because we're gonna be very close to the sun. And the filter it is. Look, oh my gosh. On the first day when I did the unboxing for the Insta360 Go 3S, I kind of don't like the sound of my voice using this mic. This is Insta360 Go 3S. I'm putting it right here. I don't know if it's because I'm putting it on the side, but I'm gonna try to put it in a different area of my body today. See, this magnet is so... People would usually put the mic side in and this magnet out so that the mic won't look as visible but I don't care. I'm gonna put the mic side out. Like in the middle of my chest. Like here. Or maybe a little bit up. I don't know how they sound. I'm hoping that this would sound better than putting it on the side or it's gonna be the same. Alright, let's just make coffee. Oh! By the way, when I was doing my trial, I actually brought home coffee beans, 250 grams. This is their blend and it's actually really good. And speaking of the trial, I actually haven't heard anything from the coffee shop, which is a little bit weird. And it is also messing with my ear a little bit. I was like, wow, am I that bad that they actually don't call me or text me telling me how I went that day? Do they like me or not? No, nothing of that sort. But it also can be because they're really busy in the weekend, maybe. Let's see you next week if they're going to contact me or not. If not, then I should just find somewhere else to work at. Okay, today we're drinking the El Parche. This is a Colombian coffee and it's really good with milk. I feel like right now I'm at one of my lowest point in life. I've been having a lot of these low moments in the past five to seven years. And this time around, I want to turn my life over. Seven years ago, I came to Australia with only $1,500 in my pocket. And that was all I had. And right now, I've actually come to full circle with that moment. So. Yeah, but I'm not gonna stand here telling you the sob story of how I got to this point again in my life. On the quite opposite, I actually want to tell you guys that 
it is never too late to start over and that you always have the power in yourself to control the narrative of your life, to change whatever you want to change, to start a new beginning regardless of your past. That's why I'm here right now. I'm making a big change to my life and I want to share this journey with you so that if any of you are feeling the same way, I want to let you know that we are in this together, okay? As long as we're still alive, there's always hope and there's always new possibilities to growth, change, new beginnings, new opportunities. I always tell myself that actually and that is true. It doesn't matter what you did in the past, what mistakes you've done, as long as you have the willpower to change, it is always possible for you to start anew. So yeah, if you're ever feeling like you want to start a new hobby, you want to quit your job, you want to live in a new country, you want to live a toxic relationship, don't ever feel like, oh I'm too old for this, I'm already at this age, it's too late for me. No, 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 don't do that, okay? You can always look up all these famous and fantastic people who has done such great thing in their life at the age of over 40. So don't ever let anyone tell you that you can't do something and don't ever sabotage yourself to think that you cannot do something. I forbid. So in the next 35 days, I'm going to try to get my life together. I'm talking financially, career, my health, my mental, my personal life. I'm not saying that I'm gonna get it all together in the next 35 days, but I'm going to try to build a system to kickstart this journey so that I can achieve my goals and hopefully I can prove to you that what I just said before this is truly truly right and i want to document this journey as a reminder as something that i can look back to and i hope that this can also inspire some of you who are watching out there so for everyone who's watching right now i hope you're following for the ride that is actually really good really really good <laughs>